Hey guys, just a guy here with another episode of SevTech. Well, let's get to it. Okay, first off, I had these books, and I thought I'd try to put on, but unfortunately they don't work on these Tinker Construct weapons. So I can't put power on my bow, and I can't put sharpness on my sword. I mean, my sword's really strong now with the twilight thing. Nine attack instead of six, and the extra damage if I'm not in twilight. But it's just disappointing. The armor stuff seems to work when i put these on my boots it showed me the option of having it on the other stuff too i think so that's okay but the only books i got was for weapons and they didn't work but we got a knightly broadsword a knightly pickaxe a knightly axe and then we have two knightly arrows I only made two the third bronze arrow i just left because these have so much more durability i don't think it'll be a big issue uh, they don't have the dents anymore, so they won't retain their durability as easily, but still. But um, in terms of progression, we still need a reactor and a training with coal. Um, and if you go to the reactor, it needs redstone ore, which I'm not sure if I can get that yet, because just this thing that materialization from Abysscraft. This is kind of looks like iron wood ingots. Stage three to get this. So I can't make this reactor till stage three. So I've got to find one, I guess. Because it said find one or build one. And for the coal engine, I still need all those potions of fiery, I guess. Yeah, the fiery gears and all that. Still leaf I've not found yet. But, um, and I have one gas here I got out of a chest. I guess I have to get more out of a chest because I don't have access to the nether, obviously. Unless gas tears drop from something else. And I need to find my portal. I thought putting trees around would make it easier to find, but I have so many trees out here it made it harder. But um, progression wise, I think I need to either find the maze, the dark forest, or the swamp. Uh, right here. Yeah, so this defeating the lich, let me see the dark forest, uh, resist the snow forest, and the blindness, or the mosquitoes from the swamp. So the the snow forest chills let me let fight the alpha yeti and then defeat the snow queen and the snow queen supposedly um i think the, the snow queen let me get into no i don't know what it does i think it just lets me get into the highlands eventually when i beat all the high end bosses but yeah, I think I can go into that prickly forest that I had seen before. That, uh, where's my stuff in this brown area, is it? No. That's not it. Yeah. It was something that I couldn't enter. It was like a swampy pod soul area. I think it's over here. Huh. I swear it was just like right of my base. We're gonna try. Oh, I don't have my sling out. And we get to see how fast this cuts. Much faster, even with me climbing, which is usually slow. So, we're moving. I'm almost tempted to get some more monolith stone. I got seven or eight of them the last time I was here. I feel like I'm running really fast. 
for some reason. Even though I don't have any armor or anything that would explain that. Okay, we're back to this little mushroom forest. Here's the ice cave. Wish I remember where that swamp that was hurting me was. I think I need that beef stroganoff stew from the description. What the heck is that? Oh, it's just a zombie. There's these blue golem things that actually give me the prismarine shards, which are different. Oh, basalt and a lapis block. Wow, two hit basalt. Basically the equivalent of obsidian so far. This stuff is definitely way better. Only thing is, like I said, I lost a oh, yeti that's not in that cave. Hmm. I'm going to have to pull out my sling. Oh, don't tell me I put it in a box accidentally. I'm hoping I put it in my bag because I wasn't using it in the tower. Oh no. Huh. <laughs> yep. And it looks like I accidentally put my sling in one of my boxes when I was cleaning up my inventory. I hope. And I didn't just destroy it. It's not exactly hard to make, but I don't have any slime. I have two of them too. I have one that I'd used to get my body previously. I have no idea what these are for. These little pillars out of nowhere. Okay, so that's another ice queen. Oh no, it's just the very edge of the one I've already seen. Not running into any Arctic wolves for some reason. Sometimes they're swarming, other times they got none. Yeah, we need a maze, we need lots of stuff. And as much as I like this nightly gear and all that we got from the Snow Queen, we didn't really actually get anything we needed. Well, I guess the ironwood ingots for the depth thing, as you can see in the top left. It's unfortunately not all in the same line. But... In terms of the coal engine and progressing, we didn't get anything. And, you know, it's... I try to want to get to stage 3 before episode 100. I kind of wanted to actually do this episode as an aesthetic episode. If any of you guys want to leave a comment about that, I'd be willing to hear it. But, yeah, I was thinking of working on my base because I really wanted to do something to make it look nicer. And, you know, one of the things I was talking about a long time ago was how cool... The liquid stuff looks like the molt liquid sun or starlight and the molten gold and stuff glass. And I was thinking of doing some sort of, you know, flowing waterfall effect of multiple colors on my front door area. And I was curious if the water wheel would actually turn with um other liquids. But um, you know, I'm just spending so much time just trying to barely grind out this mod pack. I just don't feel like I have the time to actually um, do aesthetics. Oh, I thought that was something different. Just like I wanted to uh, take some of that cr moss creep stuff that I used to turn all my monster farm into dark lands and see if I could turn it into the snow palace and see if I could get a nice source of nightly uh, metal by having those night guys spawn with armor. Unfortunately, they don't seem to drop that from the punji sticks. I'll need a better source of killing monsters. 
Hopefully in stage three I get some technology that lets me kill things in a mob farm setting as opposed to just you know the punji sticks because they don't drop experience points and they don't drop like armor and weapons that pe they might have hmm let's take the other one book off for now unfortunately I'm at the end of this little area I I swear you know, I was with you guys, unless it was one of the episodes that got destroyed because I didn't re I read to record something over again because the episode didn't have any uh, visual. But right near when I was exploring and found that sm uh, Smurf village of mushrooms, I swear I ran into like a hill that was covered in pod soul. And if I stepped on it, I heard like a hissing burning sound and it would damage me slightly. It was like the fire swamp or something. Why is this water so dark? And there's a tree, but still. And I forgot how much slower everything is when you don't have a slingshot. Definitely not seeing any steel leaves either. Ah, oh, here's a maze. Is this the maze I've already done, though? Maybe. Nope. We don't care about wolves. Wow, even my pickaxe kills these guys in like two hits. So, sand, a crappy bow. Eh. I'm a glutton for punishment, I'll just take it anyway. I didn't even look at that one. Oh, this inventory is full. Sand, string, firefly. Mushroom stew, guys. And a flower pot. I got iron wood nugget from something. Unless that was just something I forgot to take out of my inventory. And that ba chest bag is full. I am curious. Biome analyzer. Dense twilight forest. Yeah. Well, I've been saying here this how long and this still hasn't spawned anything. Weird. Definitely don't need more spiders, so. a really good source of fireflies if you care okay so the uh, wow there's like four chests over there one this is a pretty good maze in terms of rewards junk Sugar canes this time, guys. And junk. This is like the lowest of the low chests, really, man. Where's a merge option when you need one? Luckily, I have a full, full bag, so I can just do that now. I don't need my shield just yet, but I'm okay. Yeah, I'll put my apples in there, even though I'm not, strictly speaking. Because I need my, my nutrition is pretty maxed out all aboard. What I have to worry about right now is vegetables, which is why I was eating these. Oh, another two just sitting here. Not even a spawner. Sand, melon, string. Wow. There's supposed to be a small chance you can get rare stuff, but I can't remember if I've ever gotten any good things like Charms of Life or anything here. And you need quite a few of those because it's like 16 or something to get to the max level from level 1. 
There's like four to make the second toe and then four of those to make the third one. Well, I'm not going to need chest after this mod zone area. I mean, I got like 14, 16 in the freaking ice palace. And I didn't even get all the chests. I know there's rooms I never went into. Um, I just, you know, was exploring and I eventually started finding a way up. So I just went that way. And I know you can supposedly do something with spawner shards, but I don't know what yet. Ow, ow. Forget them. I'm breaking my helmet. Damage wise, it's really low, but it's destroying my helmet and gold that I don't need. Well, I, I actually probably need some more gold. I think I only have like two blocks worth in my smeltery. But now that I don't have too many casts to make, I haven't really had a lot of reason to use it. Let's uh, go north, I guess. Let's see what we can get. You know, I really should have my atlas out, I guess. Because I don't think it's mapping when I'm not using it. Oh, it is. I guess. Okay. Or it was just close enough. I'm curious. I'm not going to have it out for a little while, and I'm going to see what happens. Yeah, these little rock things or whatever. I don't know what they are. I thought they were caverns and caves, like these entrances into the other ground. Which might be where the maze is. I'm not exactly well equipped to do this. Hello, skeleton. Prepare to be your butt kicked. So I got a much better bow. I think this is a dead end. Usually is. Yep. Yeah, everyone I've gone down has been a dead end. So if there's an underground, I mean, you get to roots and roots, or hanging roots or whatever, which are actually part of a couple of recipes. I think the biome analyzer took it. I'm not sure about roots though. When I chop them up, I don't seem to get anything special. I get sticks. So, I don't know. And obviously, torch berries are always good. Sort of rare. Non replenishable spawn, at least stuffing out those druid uh, skeletons drop it. Hello, chicken. So, yeah, see, this is right where that thing is on the map. And I don't see anything. Unless it's underground. But unless I'm supposed to just dig straight down. I don't see anything. Let's keep going. I'm not thinking this map is all that useful anymore. Other than finding Naga and Lich Kings and stuff. We got some maze. I like these. Firefly hangs it off the trees. Makes the firefly in a jar much easier. You don't have to make the jar, but still, it seems to be a weird thing. Hello, monster right here. This is a very extensive underground over here. Ah, the blue guys. I hit him. I didn't even barely see him. What was that? Wheat? The kobolds. Feathers. Rotten flesh. I don't know if they just drop a random item, but I remember I got Prism Recharge from something like them. Well, I certainly... Resistance 3 is the effect. I couldn't see it before because my own um, totems were my base. But yeah, I guess the, the um, 
empowerment or whatever it is that comes from my knightly gear gives me resistance three which is nice this is a very big crack in the ground this is why i thought that mark meant this because it seems to be on most of the areas there's a he's crying that's awesome so they drop wheat now i don't know i swear i got prismarine shards for them before Maybe it depends on where you are. Or they have a very big pool. Wow, well, eight. Watch. Hello. You do not want to be my friend. Look at all these pumpkins. Pumpkin patch in the middle of nowhere. Okay, so. Here's. Still boar. We need to eat the six of everything. Or whatever. Oak savanna. I know I've been on one of these before, but not recently. Okay, but we're going to look at our map. And... I can't remember if it's a green little thingy majig. I think that's a maze. So this brown thing is, I think, the fire swamp. But we're going to check our atlas again. We moved quite a bit. And it does seem like... It keeps mapping even when we don't have another thing. That's nice. Because it's kind of in the way when you have another map already out. So we don't need mazes because they seem to really suck, to be honest. Hello, cool firefly trees. I want to check this silvery tree. If it's the same silvery tree I was running into before, I can't look at it yet, but this looks awesome. This ravine looks promising. Yeah, I can't do it. It's the same one as the other one. Oh, another lapis block. These are pretty randomly everywhere. And it's not anything on the tree or the map. Oh, I have a new... I could have made fletches out of feathers, obviously. And I found out that kind of, um... Makes your arrows invisible, but I don't see the point of it against mobs. Player versus player, maybe, but I don't know. Just... I need a better inventory than backpacks. Is having to go to your inventory to push everything into a backpack is annoying. Kind of makes me miss uh, the World of Dragons mods that lets you have filters into your backpacks to automatically pick up certain items. Although there's so many items in this, I don't know if that would really make a difference. Man, I'm not finding anything. Well, we could kill another Naga. Unless that's a Naga I already killed. See how much easier it goes with. Oh, wow. Wow. He wasn't much of a threat. Scary, though. Those wolves attacking poor little birds and stuff. Yeah, it's just over here. Yeah, we can see if this Nog is a threat with our new gear. As opposed to uh, previously where we just sort of cheesed it with the punji sticks. The punji sticks really did help a lot. Not just because it did damage. I mean, it was like one damage per second. But also because um, they slow toot it or whatever. Which made it not as much of an issue. Root strands, yes. A s these wells all over the place for no reason. And I did go all the way down and dig around up here before and didn't find anything. I tried to throw in some stuff in there too, just for kicks, and nothing I threw in there did anything. Okay, we're almost there. But this is a brown terrain. Mushroom forest, okay. Maybe the dark brown terrain to the bottom is 
the fire swamp. I just knew I'd seen it before. But unfortunately, I decided to rec start recording before I found something. But I don't think it'd be this much of an issue. Hello? Wow. What have I got a problem with? Oh, absorption. I was like, why do I have a heart and a shield? Where is he? If only I had my power four, I'd be kicking your butt even more. Or sharpness three, rather. Why can't I pick you up, arrows? Okay, these still look awesome. I gotta give that. And this one looks more open. The other one was like a surrounding wall. There's a freaking sheep there. So... Now uh, everything it touches it breaks. You could actually use it to gather a lot of blocks easily. But you do have to hit its head, which is really hard with a sword. Damage wise, it's not doing crap to me though. Okay, this is kind of silly pathing. Ow. You don't touch it. It's not too bad. Definitely much easier with the bow though. He's not exactly destroying much on like before. The only thing is if you don't kill it with a sword, you have to be careful. Ow. You don't miss the drops. Let's see what we got. Bunch of saplings, obviously. Couple spricks. Another trophy. Ten scales this time. We only got six or seven last time. I don't know if it's because I missed so many. But other than that, it was junk. No super or anything. Although we might have enough now to complete one of the little quests. Alright, I'll probably do this. Um, because you're supposed to build a chest piece and leggings of Naga scale, and I didn't have enough from the one Naga before. Unfortunately, I don't know if these respawn. It'd be kind of sad that if you only get one Naga per area... You have to keep walking further and further for armor that doesn't regenerate repair normally. You have to use an anvil. And there's also all these other things you can do with Naga. Oh, there's another ice palace up here. I'm at the edge of my map though, and I have to go and see if I can, um... Hello? It. Um, see if I can put paper around it or something to make it a bigger map. Otherwise, my only option would be to make a new map with a different center. Hello, I don't care about you. We even think I might have to just go down underneath the ground and find some caves or something. But we're going to go up. We're in a mushroom forest again. Not the dense mushroom forest or whatever that gave us the Smurf Village. That looks different. All the little vines hanging off of that? Or maybe not, it's not so rare. And of course we fell. Because we don't have lots of birch trees. Like I thought I saw something different. Like I said, I'm still on the lookout for a steel leaf. 
but this looks different. It's like a rainforest biome. I drown really fast here for some reason. Enchanted Forest, okay. Let's make sure our map here shows. And. Yep, it does. Okay, so we're going to add a marker. Enchanted Forest, just in case we need to find one again, because this is the first one I remember seeing. And it's pretty cool. Ferns. Let's get rid of the map again. Oak wood. White tulips. Vines. Bluish vines. Fiddleheads. Just a twilight forest flower, I guess. Huh. Every time it's put down, something different spawns. That's awesome. I think it's the enchanted forest part, not. This thing basically two hits almost every block. And it's just a standard tree in the middle. Oh, there's some an oak tree grew inside of this. Oh, that's funny. Hmm. This tree looks super green. Rainbow oak leaves. Okay. Talk about losing your durability. Let's see. Did we get a sapling? Yes, we did. Nothing uses other than aesthetics, really, though. And the whatever can use every sapling. But that's awesome. I'm going to put that in my bag before I lose it. I mean, it's not exactly find of the episode, but it might end up being. I always like new trees. Just an oak sapling. So other than the rainbow tree, we don't seem to have gotten anything. Although, you can get freaking dandelion sunflowers or whatever here. Which is funny because I had to go so far to find them before. Hello, more tree. I can't believe my helmet's almost destroyed again. I just put it an ironing it to repair all this stuff. For whatever reason, they get destroyed so easily. I can take off my chest plate for now. Which drastically reduces my armor, obviously, but... Now we're in the mushroom forest again. And we hear skeletons. Oh, well, there's another Naga. But I swear that looks like... Um... Bullhead to my left, maybe that's the maze. It's hard to uh, see while you have the map out, to be honest. Makes me really appreciate the maps that they give you, the mini map option. And here's a big, big ocean. Which might be somewhere I can find an underwater temple. Because it's oceans are pretty rare in my world. I've like barely hit an ocean once. Another yes, that little platform over here. Hello druid circle thing. Hmm. 
This has to mean something. I've come across it before. But I don't know. Hello? Whoa. That's a lot of skeletons. It's funny, I'm like one hit point off of being able to one shot these guys. Whoops. This looks impressive. But it's not. Nope. I thought I was getting access to the Underdark sort of thing. I'm lost, so I'm just gonna dig up. My my pickaxe and all that is so good. That I can dig through even dirt without being a difference between a shovel to be honest. So yeah, just there. Just like this well is half destroyed by a mushroom. Why are those kobolds dropping wheat? Where's the ones that dropped the prismarine shards before? That is so weird. In fact, these birds are just pooping everything. Since I might not get a screenshot for this episode because I'm not having much luck. Take that. Because it's getting to the point where I'm not even going to be able to do anything if, even if I find something by now. Well, there's another maze, but we're going to bypass it. This one's actually fully there. The other one was half destroyed. Unless it was the same nug I'd popped before and it actually came back and that's why it's all destroyed. We're going to see what that big, I don't know, whatever you call it. Oops. Yeah. There's like two of those giant sort of like platform things. And then there's something in the brown square there. Whoa, this is a big tree. I'm guessing this is that dark forest because it's dark. Yeah. This is the very dark forest. Dark with leaves. See if I can get a sapling. I'll even drop one. Well, if they do, I don't have any room for it. Man, having to go home just because your inventory is full of junk again? Always annoying. So I'm thinking the dark wood does not dry up leaves. But yeah, I did say the altar was in the dark wood. And luckily I have a trophy on me because I just destroyed one. It's funny I can run across the top of it all too. This is awesome. The only way to travel. Missing whatever's all down there though. I don't know if there's enemies or what. We're gonna try to see what this is first. Oh, it's... 
a low weird thing in the sky. Ah, that's the air gas tower. It's funny how the Naga bird is still up in the air though. So yeah. I'm blind. Yeah, I can't go in there. And that's that thingamajig there. But the might be here. Oh, this place needs a serious fire burn, right? Wow. There's nothing down here to even see. I'm trying to match my map. I think it'd be actually impossible to get the leaf decay to happen here. There's just so much wood and connecting tissue. Just seeing if I can make a hole in this all the way to the top. I'll have to get a flint and steel and see if I can burn this down just for kicks. Come on, fall. Rolling shift, there we go. So... Should be right here. Just birds and bats. Hmm. I'm not quite sure where this. It must be this map is highly inaccurate. I swear it looks like I've been almost on top of that thing forever. You know, I don't have flint and steel. I have something more dangerous. Lava. Now, obviously this is not a safe idea. Let's see if we can cause a little chaos. I'm curious if they have a no burn tick thing going so you can't do something like this. Because this pillar or whatever pedestal was supposed to be here. I mean, this thing, I'm like right on top of it. Aww. So many screenshotable moments. Oh, there we go. It is burning. We do have ignition, although it seemed to take a very long time for those leaves to catch fire. I think fire spread might be off, guys. Only the stuff touching the lava directly seems to be catching. This is how you deal with the darkwood forest, guys. Oops. Got my lava back before I couldn't even get to it. Actually, we're going to start from the top. Yeah, I didn't think this episode would have a point, but I gotta say, burning down the Darkwood Forest sounds like a plan. And there's nothing up here, so it's not like it's in the s sky. Is this still burning? 
I hear burning sounds, so maybe. But let's do this. Can we burn it down, guys? Wow, these take a long time to destroy if you don't have this pick. I mean, look at this. You just go like 1%. Okay, we got some ignition. It's raining though. I don't. Rain does put out the fire. Well, isn't that cheesy? I don't remember ever doing that before. Hmm. Guess our whole bird down the forest thing isn't going to work just now because of the rain. We can get one bucket to spread quite a bit if we do this little layered thing. Unfortunately, yeah, with the freaking rain, I don't know if it's doing any good. Theoretically, the lava pouring straight down should have caught something on fire. But I don't know. Well, the flowing lava is taking absolutely forever to stop. I might not actually be able to get back down there. Oh, there we go, finally. Now, yeah, let's see if there's a big fire. I think it is. The fire keeps spreading to that spot and be put out by the rain. I'm going to take a little bit of risk here and drop down there. So, kind of looks like the regular trees are catching fire, but the dark oak, dark wood stuff is not. And there's no real recipes for that, no. I think it's just the oak trees and stuff that are burnable. But yeah guys, I think this will be the end of this episode. I'm going to play around with the fire a little bit more to see if I can burn this forest down. Ow, ow. But I gotta say, compared to the dark forest that I burnt down in accident by just putting a freaking block next to something, this is actually, I'm trying to burn it down and not getting very much success. But yeah guys, we found this forest. Um, there's supposed to be something I can put a trophy on to unlock some things. But I'm not seeing it just yet. But I'm a little stumped on the progression. Um, I'll probably come back and show you guys my progress at burning the forest down. I might also explore a little more before I do that. Just so I can find the next place to be. Because this whole episode was just wandering around aimlessly. I mean, we killed the Naga. We showed how much better our new gear is. But, wow, for pouring lava on a bunch of trees, I didn't get much of an effect here, did I? But yeah, guys, catch you later. Just a guy signing out. Bye.